Sorry about that. People are rude. They see that I'm on live and they're trying to make phone calls to me on Facebook at the same time. That's very rude. But anyway, like I was saying, some people might wonder, hey, why are you working on MLK, right? Martin Luther King's birthday. Well, my birthday is Sunday and I'm going to be working then. <laughs> anyway, I think this is probably what uh, Martin Luther King would have wanted, right? Hey, Jenny, how are you? Happy Martin Luther King Day. Um, yeah, I'm supposed to be off, but I'm working. <laughs> well, let's think about it. I think uh, Martin Luther King would probably have wanted us to, uh, to be independent and uh, own businesses. We need economic empowerment. I mean, it's really all about the dollar bill. Um, I think the, uh, the focus of the, uh, thank you. Yes. I think the focus of the civil rights movement um, on social acceptance is good. I mean, it's great, you know. It's great that we can uh, go to any lunch counter or any restaurant or ride any seat in the bus or anything like that. I think that's great. Um, but. The concept of equality uh, really pertains more to economic equality than social equality, in my opinion. Mm. The condition of uh, all Americans and African Americans in particular, I don't like using that term, African Americans, we're black Americans. Uh, black Americans in particular really rests on our uh, ability to make money and our ability to circulate money within the community. And uh, we don't have uh, any opportunities to circulate money within the community unless we have uh, entrepreneurs inside of the community with whom to spend our money. And um, that requires entrepreneurship. So a lot of people got on the tip of uh, you know, and integration and everything is fine, but a lot of people got on, the, got on the tip of, well, let me go to school and let me get a good job, right? Let me get a good, let me get a degree and let me get a good job. And that's fine. I mean, I think it's really fine. I think it's great. You know, I grew up across, uh, across the golf course from Southern University, an uh, HBCU, an historically black college uh, university. And, um, you know, do a lot of Kappas and Q-Dogs and all the rest of this. You know, I guess that's really part of the culture in New Orleans, very much part of the culture in New Orleans. I think it's great. Um, but at the same time, I think that uh, we need a little bit of balance. We need a little bit of focus. We need some rogue entrepreneurship going on. We need people who uh, are sticking their neck out and taking those risks and operating businesses and uh, that's where the real money comes from. Forgive me for eating. I'm having lunch on the road. So in two days, I'm going to be recording the birthday episode of my radio show. And um, I'm going to be recording it on the 17th. Today's the 15th. But my birthday is Sunday, 
the 21st. Um, Jenny, you know how old I am. But I'm not going to share that with the rest of the world. Because, uh, Because I've been taking care of my health. <laughs> and I look a lot younger than I am. So, hey, it is what it is, yo. But um, let's just say I'm uh, mature years old. <laughs> and I don't have any guests this, this uh, week. There are not going to be any guests appearing on the radio show. So I'm going to be winging it by myself. And believe me, I have a lot of things to talk about. Now, when you're practicing holistic health, you can't really be in holistic health without uh, being a little bit of a conspiracy theorist. It comes natural, okay? Um, actually, my entry into holistic health was because of my son's uh, condition of autism which was the result of uh, vaccines. And I will say that openly, it was the result of vaccines. Um, so, you know, I started off as a conspiracy theorist. Why are they putting uh, these things in the vaccines that are affecting our children in negative ways? Mm. But um, we also discovered that most of us are carrying a heavy metal toxin burden, right? We have a lot of toxins in our body. I, for one, have already clean, cleansed a lot of uh, heavy metal toxins out of my body and uh, using bentonite clay and uh, zeolite, which is clinoptilolite. Uh, uh, bentonite is also known as melorganite clay. These are both volcanic ash products. Um, they have a negative magnetic charge. So when you ingest them, or if you bathe in it, uh, it has a uh, it has an effect like hemodialysis. It actually will draw the negatively charged toxins out of your body. And um, so that's really good. That's really beneficial. Um, and it's necessary because when I noticed. Uh, the more I clean out the, metal, the heavy metal toxins from my body, uh, the better I feel, the lighter I feel, my personality lightens up. I mean, I find myself singing, uh, starting spontaneous conversations with strangers and, uh, you know, just things that uh, I discover a sense of joy inside that I, that, that I hadn't really had since I was a child. And uh, so I know that there is something Hey, Nisi, how you doing? Happy birthday, baby. Capricorn, you. And uh, and I noticed that uh, this is due to the heavy metal toxin burden coming out of my body. And then I find myself not wanting to go and hang out and have a couple of beers with my friends because my body feels so clean, my liver feels so clean that uh, I just don't want to, I don't want to put toxins into it. But that makes me think, Okay, if I'm experiencing this and I go to the sauna almost every day, at least three days a week for an hour, uh, I go to the sauna to, to sweat and, and purge and detox. So I consider myself a fairly detoxified person. And for me to feel so different after doing the bentonite clay baths and the bentonite clay foot baths that... Uh, I just feel so much lighter and, and, and healthier than that I know that I know that the rest of the world or at least the rest of the country is experiencing the same heavy metal toxin burden. Um, here we are with the conspiracies again. I know that when I was a child, jet planes did not blow lines of smoke across the sky the way they do today. And these are called chemtrails, okay? And um, People have been studying, if you look up chemtrails online, uh, people have been studying chemtrails and uh, picking up the droppings of the chemtrails. In fact, um, right now it's illegal to collect rainwater, and I have no idea why, 
but uh, evidently it's illegal to collect rainwater. And I imagine if you did collect rainwater, you'd find that in the samples of rainwater, um, it would be the things that are being sprayed upon us by the chemtrails. And I got a feeling that those things are not really conducive to human life and human health. Now, could it be a conspiracy that someone's culling the population? Could it be that they're trying to, you know, reduce our uh, our age uh, span? Uh, could it be that, uh, you know, they're releasing uh, certain uh, heavy metals that are more difficult uh, for certain uh, gene pools to uh, to clean out of their bodies and for others? Um, you know, uh, who knows? Who knows? But um, if it were a good thing, if there were a good reason, let's just say, oh, they're trying to keep the planet cool, uh, because uh, global warming or whatever, whatever, whatever the reason is, if it were good for us or at least harmless for us, whoever is spraying the chemtrails would tell us. They would tell us about it and they would claim credit for it. And maybe they would even put colors in it so that we could have a pink sky or an orange sky or a purple sky from time to time. But I don't think that's the case. And um, I think it has something to do with the autism epidemic. I think it has something to do with uh, with a lot of things, a lot, a lot of a lot of uh, illnesses that people are suffering. I'm afraid that the world is not a safe place to live right now, and we have to we have to be cognizant of that. So some of the things that we have just considered to be part of normal uh, normal survival on Earth, uh, such as bathing and, and brushing your teeth and, you know, your normal self-care things, we're going to have to add to that. We're going to have to add uh, detoxification. We're going to have to add heavy metal detoxification. This is a normal thing, okay? I've been uh, detoxifying myself and my son, and I even see uh, huge uh, benefits from, from the detoxes that I give to him as well. And every time I give myself a foot bath, for example, with betonite clay, I see metal, like black powder, it looks like gunpowder, uh, metals that were pulled out of my body in the bottom of the foot bath. So you can take those metals and you can look at them in the sun, and you can take the foot bath and look at it in the sun after you pour the water out, and you will see that some of the little black particles actually glitter like uh, gunpowder. So, you know, bentonite clay, B-E-N-T-O-N-I-T-E. -E. You can find it at Sprouts. You can find it at a number of different stores, bentonite clay. Um, it's got a million uses. They take the stink out of the sewage with it. They uh, line ponds with it because it expands six times when it is exposed to water. So it's hydrophilic when you, when you put... Uh, when you line a pond in your backyard uh, with betonite clay, then when it rains, the clay is going to expand, and so it's going to seal up and hold the hold the water in the pond. Uh, there are a lot of uses for it. Uh, Tom's of Maine toothpaste has betonite clay. Um, when uh, ladies go to or men or whoever uh, to spas and get um, facial uh, clay masks. The clay is usually bentonite clay. You can use it as a face mask. You can use it as on a wound. You can use it on acne. It'll draw the, the toxins out. You can use it on an abscess, you know, a big pimple, whatever. Um, it's really good. Zeolite. Zeolite is known technically as cliniptilolite. I know that's a big word. Cliniptilolite. Uh, it's also called zeolite. Zeolite is similar. It's another... Uh, volcanic ash product and um, zeolite it also has a magnetic charge it also attracts uh, the the heavy metal toxins okay but because of its honeycomb structure it's shaped like like little like hexagons honeycomb because of its honeycomb structure it specifically can take out mercury, okay? Now remember, um, 
in uh, the vaccines. A lot of the vaccines have been uh, historically, I don't know about now, I don't know, we have to find out, but historically vaccines were uh, stored with thimerosal, uh, which is a mercury-based preservative. And um, mercury is extremely neurodegenerative, which is to say that uh, mercury causes damage to the neurons. It causes damage to the brain and to the entire nervous system. Um, so it's obvious that there is uh, there's some connection between uh, thimerosal, thimerosal stored by so basically here's where we are uh, we have to take care of our health we have to detoxify our bodies we have to watch out specifically for heavy metal toxins um, you should probably invest in an ionic breeze or some type of ionic air cleaner uh, to put inside your house uh, to take out the, the harmful toxins that are in the air um, you should probably get a water alkalizer for the water in your house. Now, how do we get good potable drinking water in our house, good quality? Okay, well, I've done a lot of uh, water treatment in my career in biomedical engineering because I specialize in dialysis. And in dialysis, um, we use clean water. <laughs> we use reverse osmosis water, uh, which is very pure, ultra pure. Um, wow. So, if I were, once I buy my house, I'm going to do this. If I were to be uh, preparing my water for drinking, all right, ultimate water for drinking, I wouldn't make it ultra pure. Ultra pure water is actually too clean to drink. If you drink ultra-pure water, you're stripped of all of its electrolytes, um, you're going to use the bathroom, you're going to pee, and then you're going to be worse off than if you hadn't. You're going to feel really bad. You could get sick or you could actually kill you. So you got to be very careful with the, with the water. But there are some things that you do want to take out of the water. You want to use activated carbon. Activated carbon is the same thing that you see in your fish tank the black rocks that you have inside the fish tank, right? Little black rocks. Activated carbon removes chlorine and chloramine uh, from the water. Um, chlorine and chloramine are in our tap water necessarily so that when the water passes through the pipes, right? Through the, the pipes coming out to our houses, that uh, it doesn't, uh, when it's sitting still in the pipe, that it doesn't form a pyrogenic reaction. It doesn't develop yogurt and pseudomonas and um, all of these different bacteria that that form inside stagnant water, uh, cholera. You know, you don't you don't want these things. So you have to have chlorine and chloramine in the water, but you don't want to drink those things. Okay. Um, the jury is still out about fluoride. I personally uh, don't like drinking fluoride. And I personally believe that fluoride, uh, well, I know that fluorine is a toxin and fluorine is poison. And, um, but at the same time, I spent a few years in Europe and uh, we have much prettier teeth <laughs> than the Europeans. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe is a, you know, maybe there are advantages and disadvantages to fluoridation of the water. All I'm saying is take the fluoride out of the water. Uh, with a filter made from coconut husk, okay? The coconut husk filter will take uh, fluoride out of the water. You want to run it through activated carbon. You want to run it through activated carbon to get the chlorine and chloramine out. You want to run it through a uh, fluoride filter, uh, which would be made of uh, coconut husk to get the fluoride out. And I would recommend that you get a Kangen water alkalizer. And uh, look it up on Google, K-A-N-G-E-N, I believe, or G-A-N, K-A-N, Kangen, or Kangen water. But you want a water alkalizer. What the water does, what the alkalizer does is it makes alkaline water. It raises the pH of the water, okay, uh, makes it healthier for you. And um, 
from a Kangen machine, you can get several different uh, types of high quality water. You can get super low pH, which is great for cleaning up uh, as, a, as a natural cleaner for your counters and in your house. You can get 11.5 pH, which is super duper high. The 11.5 pH is good for cleaning your vegetables when you buy your vegetables and fruits from the store because the uh, pesticides that are sprayed when they when the crop dusters come and spray pesticides on the crops they the 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 farmers want an oil-based pesticide because if you spray a water-based pesticide on the plants then when it rains the the the, the pesticide is going to be rinsed off of the plants and uh so what they do is you know to to, to fight costs i guess whatever they spray them with an oil-based pesticide well when you take those fruit from the store and you wash them in your sink you're not getting all of that oil-based pesticide off and i don't recommend using dawn dishwashing liquid to wash your vegetables and fruits before you eat them uh, so the kangen water uh, at 11.5 ph the ph is so high that it actually emulsifies the, the oil all right it, it it doesn't separate it's not like uh, normal the normal oil and water relationship it doesn't separate so with some 11.5 kangen water you can actually soak your your vegetables soak your fruits and and it'll be clean and then what you want to do is you want to drink the 9.5 ph and uh believe me it's good and uh there's a difference between alkaline and alkalized okay um once your water is alkalized it has a different molecular structure and it's much easier for your body to absorb and to digest it and it also sparks a detoxification process uh, where you might get a little detox headache and uh, you may go to the bathroom for a couple of days but uh, I highly recommend that and we need this we need this in order to be healthy we need this we need uh, clean water we need clean air um, we need good food um, and there we go. And we need to avoid letting people stick us with needles and telling us that the things in those needles are things that we need. Because they're not. Okay? You are an organism. Just like a fruit grows on a tree and it's self-contained. It's got the skin on the outside to protect it. It's got the fruit inside. And all of that fruit is just a uh, uh, placenta, so to speak, right? Like a baby inside his mommy, uh, inside of a pregnant lady. Uh, it's like a placenta. It's there to protect the seed. That's what it's there for. But of course, it tastes good. Fruits taste great. So we get them. We get them and we eat them and we spit the seeds out. You know. Um, so just like fruits are made naturally and 100% self-contained, uh, so are people. So are our bodies. Okay? If you have a baby, please don't let anybody stick a needle in them or her. Okay? There is nothing in that needle that is going to make your child any healthier and any better than they are right now. That's going to improve them, uh, despite popular opinion. So that's where I'm going. I'm going shock jock. I guess a few people have seen my post before this video. I'm going shock jock because the things that I have to say are going to shock. And there are actually holistic health uh, physicians. Um, that are losing their life. Uh, uh, quite a few holistic health doctors have uh, died under mysterious circumstances um, in the last two or three years uh, talking about the things that I'm going to be talking about on the radio. So, uh, so that kind of is what it is as well. But um, if you guys have any questions that you would like me to ask on Biomed Rx Radio, Feel free to ask. Uh, type them here in the in, the, in the, the the comments, or you can send them to info or questions at biomedrxradio.com. Biomedrxradio.com. Okay, info at biomedrxradio.com or questions at biomedrxradio.com. All right. Traffic's not too bad. Happy New Year to you too. Thank you. 
And remember to listen for Biomed RX Radio every Sunday at AM 590, AM 590, The Answer, and www.am590theanswer.com. Conservative Talk Radio in Southern California from San Bernardino, Riverside. In the Inland Empire, just east of Los Angeles. I don't think they could pick up my station in L.A., but that's fine. You can pick it up online. Holistic Health Practitioners can feel free to join the Upland Chapter of the Holistic Chamber of Commerce. The Holistic Chamber of Commerce is dedicated to helping naturopaths and uh, practitioners of holistic medicine and uh, people who supply suppliers of holistic health products. You can find out more online at www.holistic chamber of commerce.com forward slash upland u-p-l-a-n-d which is my chapter i'm the president of this chapter um if you would like to join if you live here in california you'd like to join give me a call at 424-204-2382 um as a member of the holistic chamber of commerce you will have the right and the ability to uh, exhibit your work uh, and display uh, exhibit and sell at the uh, Sunday event that I hold every Sunday which is Holistic Health Sundays okay um, it happens every week I was starting it at 12 I'm going to start starting it at 11 now from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. every Sunday at the Biomed Rx Health Center Okay, every Sunday. So do not be confused by conflicting information. Um, and uh, it's a lot of fun. We have people coming out. I'm announcing the health fair every Sunday on the radio. And uh, there we are. Things are working great. This is going to be quite a drive. I'm headed from Upland to Bakersfield. It's going to be like halfway across the state of California I'm going today and I'm going to be driving back tonight or I might get a hotel out yeah I've got my laptop one of my lap three of my laptops with me so yeah I can go to a hotel send out some spam or something <laughs> So what else? Um, well, Happy New Year. What are your New Year's resolutions? Do you have a New Year's resolution to be happier, to be healthier, to be wealthier, uh, to work harder, to uh, take care of yourself better? Um, did, you, did you make a commitment to quit any of your bad habits? Now we're 15 days into the year. Are you sticking to it? Are you still... Uh, off. Hi, Anita. How are you? Are you still sticking to your New Year's resolution? Let me know what it is. Okay. Have you stuck to it? Whatever it is you want to do, Biomed Rx can help you do it. We can help you be better. We can help you feel better. Okay. I'd like to explain a little bit about what we do. Uh, we do brain training. That's right. Brain training. Now, most people, there's a stigma about the brain, right? Most people are like, oh, nothing wrong with my brain. Okay. <laughs> and uh, to improve your body, for example, at the gym, if you go to the gym and get a gym membership, it doesn't mean that you're weak. 
right? You can go to the gym as a perfectly healthy person and make a perfectly healthy body better and healthier. You can go to the Biomed RX Health Center with a perfectly intact brain and make your brain work better. Okay, and how do we do this? Well, we have a number of techniques. We have uh, neural feedback. Neural feedback is EEG biofeedback. Okay, it is an electronic method of restoring the brain to its natural balance. Um, we work out the little kinks and knots of dysregulation in the neocortex that we establish whenever we get pissed off, whenever we get upset, whenever we get excited, whenever we have an argument or any type of powerful emotion, uh, whenever we get bored, uh, driving for hours on the freeway like, uh, like I'm doing right now, um, there are a number of things that uh, make us um, accumulate dysregulation in the neocortex. Well, with neurofeedback, we're able to get rid of that. We're able to work that out with um, training the brain, get you back to a state of being relaxed and healthy and happy and uh, productive. And then we can move forward into, uh, that's what that's, that's just infralobe neurofeedback, where you're watching a movie and relax. We move from there into alpha theta neurofeedback, where you are your brain is functioning in the 10 hertz alpha and the 7 hertz theta zone range at the same time, simultaneously. What does that do? Well, that helps you deal with you, okay? In theta, the theta uh, frequency, 7, is actually a sleep frequency. It's a light sleep frequency, uh, the dream frequency. It's like when you're um, in REM sleep or when you're in dream sleep, okay? and that's not delta. Delta is five hertz and below. That's deep sleep. That's when you're actually sleep, uh, like just recuperating. Okay. So alpha, theta simultaneously working in alpha and theta simultaneously helps you deal with your stuff, deal with your emotional baggage, deal with your repressed emotions. Because what you're doing is you're scooping down into the theta zone and you're bringing repressed memories to the conscious mind in the alpha zone. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of a transitional type of deal for a lot of people. You may shed a couple of tears, but at the end, uh, it's better to process and rid yourself of the repressed negative emotions than it is to live with them. Because if you're living with them, trust me, you are... Uh, behaving in a manner that is responding to the fact that you're holding all of these uh, repressed memories and stuff inside. So you want to do, you don't want to do that. You want to get out of that mode. All right. And alpha theta is good for that. Alpha theta is also good for artists and musicians and creatives and actors. Trust me on that. And a lot of people who work in the creative fields. Okay. And the reason they like Alpha Theta is because uh, it helps them to reach these creative zones, right? Uh, theta is not only the area of repressed emotions, it's also the place where your creativity lies. So if you're a person who likes to write, sing, play an instrument, or you're an actor or a painter like myself, a uh, sculptor, you want to be able to uh, tap that zone, right? You want to be able to tap that zone. So you want to have practice getting into alpha and beta at the same time. That's what alpha beta feedback helps you with. Um, then we can move forward and get into uh, synchrony. Synchrony neurofeedback is just that. We're synchronizing the left and right hemispheres of the brain to work in synchrony with each other using two channels uh, on the um, on neurofeedback. So what do you do with alpha, what do you do with synchrony? With synchrony, we have the entire bandwidth from zero hertz to 50 hertz, the entire bandwidth of neuronal activity uh, to work with. We can train you at whatever frequency uh, uh, you desire or that you can handle. 
Um, with most people, we try to find an ORF, which is called an optimal reward frequency. We have to find the frequency that uh, each person um, operates at the best or trains at uh, most effectively. Or we can get into peak performance training or supercharged training in which uh, we train the brain at a very high frequency, the gamma range. I like to hang around 40 hertz, maybe a little bit more than that. With uh, gamma synchrony training, it is a workout. You are working out your brain, you are making your brain work faster, and you are increasing your brain's ability to work faster. Um, and it's a good workout. I mean, it's a good thing. I was going to do some gamma sync right now before I left, but then I'm going to be driving for five hours today. So, no, I don't want to do a brain workout and then get on the freeway and drive. However, when I know that I'm going to go either start the day at work and I know I'm just going to have a nice calm day at work, I'll start the day with some gamma sync. And when I know that I'm going to uh, train my brain and then go home and go to sleep, then I'll, you know, like tonight when I get back from work, when I get back from Bakersfield, um, then I'll probably go ahead and uh, stop at the office and do a nice one hour or two hour gamma synchrony training session in the office before I head home to the house to get some sleep. Nice smooth day on the freeway, a little overcast in the sky. Things are going well. Okay, here we are in Glendale, and needless to say, the traffic is coming to a halt. Mm. And my sandwich fell. <laughs> Here we are, passing through Glendale. This is great. Pretty soon I'll be on the 5, and once I'm on the 5, if I beat the traffic, yeah, here we go, 5 freeway, right there. If I beat the traffic, then I should be out of town before rush hour, and perhaps I'll make it to Bakersfield at a decent hour. I go to the hospitals and work at night because uh, the work that I'm doing is in the operating suite and they have a lot of really important and serious work to do during the day. So I don't want to interrupt surgery operations and if I were needing surgery or someone was, uh, someone in my family, a loved one was needing surgery, I wouldn't appreciate extra people running around the OR suite <laughs> uh, unnecessarily either. And because the people that uh, we report to work during the day, we record all of our service visits on video and include that online so that uh, people can, so that the, the people we report to can uh, have an online interface, an online web interface. They can see uh, video and photographs and text reports of everything that happened in the hospital when, uh, when we were in there working at night. Now, biomagnetic pair therapy. I think uh, I'm, I'm thinking of things to talk about because I'm so bored on this freeway. Uh, biomagnetic pair therapy is another therapy that we offer at the Biometrics Health Center. And uh, we use pairs of permanent magnets to depolarize pH imbalances in the body. Um, pH imbalances are usually caused by Pathogens. Pathogen could be a virus, a parasite, a fungus, um, a bacteria, or just a heavy load of 
dirt, of metal toxins, of, of, of uh, a heavy toxin load. Um, but what this does is it creates pockets of acidity. Acidity is when the pH, uh, the potential hydrogen, right, the pH is too low. And alkalinity is uh, when it's high, right, when there's a high pH, okay, as in, as in bacteria. And strangely enough, when the body is holding on to these types of toxins, the body tends to uh, hold on to them together in pairs, okay? Like a pocket of acidity would, in one part of the body, uh, would be holding on to your body by means of a pocket of alkalinity somewhere else, okay? Uh, for example, one example, uh, viruses like uh, HIV, for example, live in the colon, in the large intestine, in the rectum. Um, they hold on to the body by means of uh, bacteria such as uh, E. coli, for example, that lives in the thymus gland in the center of the chest. Um, we are able to dislodge that biomagnetic pair relationship between the pocket of acidity and the pocket of alkalinity by using magnets. We can bring down alkalinity with a positive pole of a magnet. We can bring up acidity, bring up the pH of an acidic pocket with a negative pole of a magnet. And by using pairs of magnets, positive and negative together, we can depolarize this relationship and assist the body in ridding itself of both the uh, both pathogens, of both the uh, virus and the bacteria in this case. This is the essence of biomagnetic pair therapy. There is also a pretty sophisticated means of diagnosis called muscle testing where we actually test the body um, for uh, reaction, for response, okay, for pH imbalances and we were able to know where to put the magnets uh, and correspondence with how the body reacts, how the body talks to us. Um, biomagnetic pair therapy is the brainchild of Dr. Isaac Goyes Duran, uh, who is a Mexican doctor uh, who um, put together a very, very thorough and complete uh, reference of where to place magnets for uh, what disease, for what pathogens. Excuse me. I am very thankful to Dr. Goyes um, and his son, David, Dr. David Goyes, for uh, training me and um, and being a reference for us for the uh, for biomagnetic pair therapy. Um, Ms. Stephanie Richmond, who was the translator for David Goyes when I took the course, um, is going to be coming on future episodes of uh, the show of Biomed Rx Radio to talk about biomagnetic pair therapy. And um, Perhaps I can get Dr. Goyes, um, either Dr. Isaac Goyes or his son David, who was my instructor, or um, Moises Goyes, because Moises has developed a very interesting uh, technology uh, that's kind of combining the same principles of uh, as um, neural feedback with biomagnetic pair therapy. And uh, it's actually a neuropsychology. And uh, so that's about it. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I've uh, gotten rid of my entire audience here and uh, probably bored you guys to death. But let's look at the bright side. I prevented myself from being bored to death right here on the freeway.
Oh wow, look. The river is full of water. Haven't seen that in a while. <clears throat> Wow, this is beautiful. Hmm. All right, someone just joined. Speak up so I know who you are. Ask me a question so we can keep this going. <laughs> I've already gone through all of the techniques. I've already gone through the radio show, my announcements. Um, oh, vid search marketing. Let's talk about one of my other business adventure, business ventures, vid, vid search marketing. Uh, visit us online at www.vidsearchmarketing.com. That's V-I-D-S-E-A-R-C-H-M-A-R-K-E-T-I-N-G.com. Vid search marketing. Okay. Uh, we can put any website on the top of Google for any search term in any location. And that's a tall order for me to make. Um, so if you don't believe me, you can go to another browser right now and look up uh, affordable search marketing. I'm number one on that search. Or isolated power system inspection. Or uh, line isolation monitor testing. There are a number of things that, uh, that I'm, I come up high on the search engines for. So uh, I can do that for anyone. Right now, we are offering a special for 475 bucks. We can put any web video to the top of uh, Google in your particular search. So if you have a product or service that you're trying to sell and you're trying to sell it in a, in a particular location, um, then what you want to do is come to Vid Search Marketing okay and uh, let us uh, let us let us hook you up and if you don't have a video we can actually produce a uh, production quality video for you and put it online and uh, and rank it that's the important thing rank it up high so that you can get the traffic that you need vidsearchmarketing.com or call 424-204-2382. Now we got to start merging onto the freeway, so everybody please be polite. Here we go. is not a joke but it's okay we'll be out of the city limits all right now let's head up north we're gonna go past magic mountain i'm sure my man kai kai has fond memories
questions and comments are welcome. If you want to let me know what you'd like me to say on the uh, next uh, Biomed RX radio program, uh, let me know. Hey, come to my birthday party this Sunday. That's what I have to say. Come to my birthday party, my LA friends. If you're here in LA, come out to Upland. I know it's 45 minutes east of LA. Hey, that's where I am. Come out to Upland and uh, let's get together. You know my birthday party's gonna be fun. Enough said. But uh, come to the Biomed RX Health Center this coming Sunday, January 21st, which is my birthday. Uh, we will be there uh, celebrating uh, from, well, I'm probably gonna be celebrating all day, but uh, we will be there celebrating uh, from about noon until about two o'clock the next morning. <laughs> no, noon till about midnight, I guess. It's so noon till nine, or noon till ten, midnight. Whatever. We won't. Uh, we won't worry about what time the party ends. It's getting the party started that really matters. I don't want to bore you guys forever, and I don't want to uh, waste all of Zuckerberg's bandwidth on Facebook. Um, didn't really have much in particular to talk about. Just out here driving on MLK Day and uh, doing me, doing Biomed RX. And uh, thanks everybody for joining. Uh, Victoria, my niece, happy birthday, baby. Uh, very proud of you. Very, very proud of you. You're doing very well. I love you all. Uh, take care. I really do mean that. I love you all. Uh, take care. And uh, hopefully I'll see you at my birthday party on Sunday. <laughs>